I have two more days left in college and uh, I don't know what I'm doing with my life. Good morning everybody! How is everyone doing? Um, I am doing fantastic because I have two days left in college and I am about to graduate and finally have my degree. Thank God. It's been a long three years, but I did it. I told you I would. I did it. <laughs> so, that being said, I am going to show you guys how I plan on doing my graduation makeup. Um, I know that probably most of you guys have already graduated by now, but I also know that a lot of colleges like mine, for example, have not graduated yet. So if you have graduated, you can always use this as a like a summer date night or maybe a graduation party makeup or just a makeup in general because I definitely do do makeup like this all the time. <laughs> and if you have not graduated yet, or if you graduate next year or the year after that or whatever, you can always plan ahead and maybe this will be one of the ideas. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe you'll hate it. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So, well, I'm not kidding about doing the graduation makeup. I, that is what I'm doing. Let's get into the video. <laughs> Botanics uh, All Bright Concentrate Serum. This is a lightening serum to help lighten up like the dark marks and stuff like that that I have on my face. And then I went in with the uh, Botanics All Bright Day Cream Sunscreen Moisturizer. How I always like to start off my makeup is I always do my eyes first. I'm sure if you've watched the last couple of videos, you would know that by now. How I do my eyes is I take concealer. This is the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Concealer. Uh, it's also oil free and it is in the color ivory. I got this at Target. It's it's only a few bucks. I know it's less than like ten dollars. Um, so I put concealer on my eyelids. Then I just blend it all over with a damp beauty sponge. And then I go in with setting powder and I use the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in Fair and I will just take my beauty sponge and I will just press that into the concealer. And this way it leaves like a nice smooth base for my eyeshadows to blend over. For graduation I want to do kind of like a natural really pretty and dainty look. Um, so I decided that I'm going to do like a neutral and rose gold shimmery eye look. Um, to start off with uh, I am going to take the Urban Decay and Kristen Lee Ann. This is the Daydream eyeshadow palette. And I am going to take the color, or I'm going to take the shades Daydream, subscribe right here. And I'm just going to blend those all over my crease as my transition colors. Next I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. Now I'm in this video I'm going to be using a bunch of different like high-end and drugstore makeup um, but e.l.f. has a really good dupe for this one. Um, I believe it's called the Rose Gold palette um, and I think that one was, I know it was less than $10 and this one is obviously I think it's $54. So if you do have this palette Great, if not, uh, e.l.f. has a really good dupe and I will link that one down below. Again, you don't have to use any of the products that I'm using. Um, this is just to give you ideas, basically. So next I'm going to go in with the color Limit right here and I'm going to place that all over my lid. This will give a really nice base color for the rose gold shimmers that we're going to go in with. Next I'm going to take this color right here, which is called Nooner, and I am going to just 
gently pat that on the outer corners of my eye, like that outer V area right here. That's just really gonna give some dimension to the eye and it's just gonna darken it up just a little bit. Next I'm going to take a very dense um, blending brush, something like this. This one is the Mikasa E300 brush. Um, and I'm going to take this dark shade called Dark Heart and I'm just going to, I'm only going to touch the brush in here very lightly a couple times and then I'm going to tap off the excess and I'm just going to lightly pat this just on the outer half circle of my eye just to kind of darken it up a super super tiny bit. You definitely don't want to go too heavy with this and you don't want to add too much of it because that will really take away from the natural the naturalness of this look. And just be sure to really blend it all over. And for the final step for our eyes, I'm going to take the color Trick, which is right here. And I'm actually just going to use my finger and I'm going to place that on the lid. I'm not really sure what it is, but I just feel like the using your finger gives it the best application. Then I'm going to wipe away any fallout that may have happened. And that is it for the eyeshadow. So I have these e.l.f. Uh, liquid eyeshadows. They're called the Molten Liquid Eyeshadows. And I have a few different colors here, but I think I want to use the rose gold one and I am just going to lightly place this on the center of my eyelid just to really give it that metallic effect. So I'm just going to tap a tiny tiny bit on there and then I'm going to use my finger and really just blend it out. Then I'm going to go in with the NYX Glam Liner in, um, in Glam Nude. This is what this looks like. I really like these NYX liners because um, I believe they're like in between four and six dollars and they're, so they're super cheap but they're just really pretty. And I'm just going to draw a wing. Now I'm just going to curl my eyelashes and add some mascara. Mas for the mascara, I am using the Maybelline The Falsies Volume Express Hydrofuge Mascara. This is waterproof and this is in the color Blackest Black. Moving on to my face, I'm going to use a very light liquid foundation and this is by Mally. Um, and this is in the color Fair. I really like this foundation because it feels like, like it, it's very light, light to medium coverage. It is buildable, but it, it, it's a water-based foundation and it just feels so nice, especially in the summertime. Also, the, the dude who sold this to me at Ulta um, tried to sell it to me by saying that this is the foundation that Beyonce uses. <laughs> and I looked it up. Her makeup artist does use this foundation, which that doesn't really mean anything to me because Beyonce and I might not have the same skin type and what may work for her may, be, may look like trash on me. But if you are a Beyonce fan, now we're just going to use a little bit of that Maybelline concealer again. I'm just going to place this under my eyes. 
on the bridge of my nose and up on my forehead and also on my chin. And then going in with that damp beauty sponge again, it's going to blend this all out. Now, I definitely don't want to cake on the powder. I don't want to I don't want my makeup to feel all cakey and like too heavy or anything like that. So I am going to use uh, the, be the beauty sponge and I'm just going to, I'm not actually going to bake the powder. I am just going to lightly pounce it into my skin. And I'm going to use just a little bit. I definitely don't want to use too much. The only time I use an actual like full amount of powder and, and, and I'll actually bake it is when I'm using like full coverage foundation where I know I'm not going to be sweating but I want to make my makeup really last all day. For the under eyes we're going to go back into the Daydream palette and I want to use the, sh the color 1212 which is that pink color. And I'm just going to take a flat shadow brush just like this and I'm going to only get the color on one side. The side that has the eyeshadow on it is going to be facing my lashes. You definitely want to make sure that you only get this color on one side of the brush otherwise you are going to have so much fallout onto the rest of your face. And it's just not going to be good but if you only get it on the one side it only goes right where you want it right where you place it finally moving on to the rest of the face I am going to bronze up and warm up my face just a little bit with some bronzer I am using the Bahama Mama bronzer by The Bomb Cosmetics and I am taking a flat fluffy blush brush and I'm just, I use circular motions and I just gently sweep it over like underneath my jawline. And I also do it along my hairline and then just gently along my jawline. I don't do very much here at all because I definitely don't want to have like that five o'clock shadow <laughs> look. So, And then I take another fluffy brush. This is just a clean powder brush and I just sweep it over just a little bit more just to really blend everything out. For blush, I'm going to use this e.l.f. blush. It's in the color Blushing. Um, this is a really nice blush because it is shimmery just a little bit, so it does act as like a natural blushy highlighter. And I just, I really like to have a nice shimmer in the summer. I just feel like it makes me seem more like glowy, like I have that beautiful glowing tan beachy skin, if that makes sense but I don't want to be like the Tin Man, like super, super glowy. That's, that's too much. And speaking of glowing, for highlighter, I am going to go in with the Urban Decay Afterglow Highlighter in Sin. This is one of my favorites. This is a more gold, white, nude-ish highlight. Um, and I just think that it looks, I don't know, it's just really pretty. I think it works perfectly for my skin. Now we are going to go in for the brows and I am using the Sugar Cosmetics Arch Arrival Brow Pencil that I got in an Ipsy bag, I believe. Or no, this was from the BoxyCharm. And if you want to see what other products I got in my subscriptions. I just uploaded that video yesterday actually so I will link that down below. And then I like to go in with a brow gel. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Brown Gel in brown. Brow gel in medium brown. 
And I really just focus these on the fronts of my brows and then I'll just lightly sweep it through towards the tail. Just because this really holds the brow hairs in place so they're not sticking up and going everywhere and looking all crazy. So for my lips, I really wanted to stick with the whole pink and nice, like nice and pretty rose gold color. So I have the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick. This is in the color Patina, I believe. And then I have, for my lip liner, I have the Smashbox Cosmetics Always Sharp Lip, uh, lip Liner in Rosebud. I really like these because there's a little sharpener on the inner corner, or on the inner corner, on the inside of this lid where it always... So every time you open this lip liner, it always is pointed. So how I, how I line my lips is I always do this and then I'll put an X right where my cupid's bow is and I'll draw from there. Now I'm just going in with the ooh, lipstick that I just dropped. And that is it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed creating this rose gold makeup look with me. I hope you guys maybe did it along with me. If not, that's okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just wanted to thank you guys for sticking around and watching this video. I definitely tried to make this one a little bit shorter because all of my other ones have been super long. Um, that is something that I'm working on. I know that I talk a lot. I also say, okay, so I hate it so much. Trust me, I tried to cut it out of the last video as much as I possibly could because it's one of those like pet peeves of mine that I have like of myself that I don't know why I say it so much, but I do. It's super annoying. I don't know if you guys have noticed it, but I hope not because it's awful. <laughs> Anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video. Also for everybody who just graduated or will be graduating, um, I hope that the next few months are full of like getting a job and kind of getting your life together a little bit because I know that I'm at this point where I'm graduating from college and then I'm like, oh shit, I have to get a job and actually be a, like an adult adult. like. I'm an adult, I'm 22, but I'm not an adult. I, mm. I do pay my taxes though, so. So that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.